Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to look at another awesome machine learning project. This one is called Anime to Sketch. If you're a regular to Hacker News, you probably saw it. It was featured probably four or five days back. And this one does what it says in the name. It takes an anime image and turns it into a sketch. And it does a very, very good job of this. This is another example of machine learning in action. We'll get back to some of the details in just a sec, but I want to jump right in and show you how this works. So first off, it is an open source project. Uh, this is a a machine learning project so as you probably guessed this is python based now one of the interesting things about this project is it does say it needs linux or mac os this is a damn dirty lie as i found out after you know what i should have logically done is tried it on windows but no what i did instead is i installed a version of linux and here's the proof I installed linux for you guys i did obs studio i recorded the entire process in linux yeah and then I found out actually it works just fine on Windows. So uh, at least you can say I put in the effort. So let's go and take a look at what this guy is all about. And we're going to need to do a couple of things here. First, we need an input image. So we've got Vag in right here. Uh, this is, of course, Vegeta. Get your mind out of the gutter. And what we're going to do is take Vag here and we're going to put him into our input folder. So we just basically drop that one here. Actually, I'm going to do a copy. So we'll copy that into in like so. So now we have a single... Oh, We'll get that one out of there. Come on, move out. Uh, so we got a single image right here uh, of Vegeta. And then we've got our output directory is empty. Okay, so this is the repository. Basically, just clone it down. The only other thing you need to do is download the weights. This is the machine learning. Uh, this is a file that is generated for you. It is available for download uh, right here on Google Drive. Just download that file, throw it in your weights folder. Otherwise, you need to have pip and Python installed, and then you are good to go. It will resolve all of the other things that you need as part of the installation process. Speaking of good to go, this is the command you run to do the conversion. So basically, we're running the script called test.py. We are giving it the input directory of in, uh, loading size of 1024 by 1024, well, 1024, uh, and the output directory of out. And then when we go ahead and run this, it will go ahead and do its thing. So if you want different results, change this number by powers of 2, 256, 512, 1024. You get very different results each time. And there we go. Uh, so that has now run. We we'll go back here to the anim to sketch directory. We specified the output goes in the out folder like so. And here is our output. That is really well done. So basically, we took uh, this guy right here, right there, and we turned it into that. It did a good job. It, it can pick it out like the background. It knows to get rid of all of that. Uh, it got rid of everything else, but it kept the shading. It did a very good anime style shading on things. And now what you could do is you could take this line art and um, you could convert it like I did. I put it into... Um, Image manipulation, you can just pull out all of the background. You could use it for a trace. You could drop it into uh, something like Blender and have it do a conversion to Grease Pencil automatically. Uh, it's it's an impressive project. Now, you may have saw I had another file in there to start. So let's see what this thing does. So we'll get rid of this guy. Go away, Vegeta. And instead, we are going to use the best Batman ever, which was Nipple Batman. And we'll drop Nipple Batman in the in folder right there. And now we're going to see how it does with a photograph. So this is specially set up to work with anime. And now I will admit, I picked an image that is, like, it's a real photograph, but it has kind of anime aesthetics to it. But let's see how well it does with that. So we're going to do, again, exact same command. So we're going to go over here, and we will run it. So Python in and out folders. And it will spit the results out. And here we go. So let's go back here. Let's find out what the out folder has to show. And here is a sketch of Nipple Batman. It is doing a very good job. Now, there are some things I find kind of interesting here. Uh, it washed out on her hair. So when we had the original here, let's see. Let's go back over here. Um, her hair gave it fits. It also lost a little bit of the detail. So his shoulder is gone, for example. His shoulder is gone. Now, one thing I do find is you can change the parameters in here a little bit. So let's switch this one up to uh, 512. We get a blockier output, but I tend to find you get more of the edge definition. So now we're going to go over here. Let's go check what the results are there. And here. And you see, actually, that just, that just kind of got grainier in general. So let's go up this time, and we're going to change that up to... Uh, 2048. And it takes longer, obviously, the bigger you make it. 
And run, run, forest, run, forest. There we go. So here is the result at a different value. Probably, probably the best one so far. But as you can tell, it, it's there and set up to work with anime style images. Uh, but it will uh, work with photographs as well. It's, it's a neat little tool. I don't know how you would use this in the real world. Uh, there are some samples you can work with. This one is kind of like the idealized image for this. It does a very good job on it, but they handpicked it. But you can see some of their results here in the demos folder. And interestingly, and there's no documentation how to do this, they actually have some animated GIF results uh, from the anime Vinland. And you can see the end results out. And, and it's just nailing the sketch side of things. Let's see if I can go to the next image in the... So there's another one. And then here is a third example. So it just, it's doing a very good job. Now I have absolutely no idea how to actually do a movie. So you can see again, this is the input. This is the end result you get. Here's another example. So it's a hand sketch. You're getting rid of all the kind of the, the texturing and just keeping with the silhouettes in that scenario. And here is another sketch that is spit out. So if you've got like a kind of a, a drawing you want, but you want line art out of it, this one definitely could be used for that. And the cool thing here is you could then bring it into some tools that will automatically vectorize things. So then you could work with it in Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer, or as I mentioned earlier on, you could spit something out as a grease pencil image and bring it into um, something like Blender for doing animations. So there are definitely some uses for this tool. Now let's go back and learn a little bit more about it over here. So as mentioned earlier on, it is uh, up on GitHub. It is MIT licensed. The source code itself is Python. All you do to get started, just ignore the prerequisites. For one, it works just fine in Windows. Uh, all you do, clone the repository, make sure you have pip installed, go to the directory, uh, run the requirements. It will grab everything you need, download the file in this folder and drop it in your weights. And then otherwise you are good to go. Uh, the one difference you're going to find on windows, it's not called Python three. It's just called Python and make sure of course that you have Python three, not Python 2.x, which is quickly becoming a legacy thing. So if you're interested in it, this is based off the scientific paper, adversarial open domain adaptation for sketch to photosynthesis uh, from uh, Cornell University. I will link this in the linked article down below if you want to go ahead and really get into the weeds on that. Uh, it is CC BY, so this is an open source paper, and uh, you can download it in PDF format if you so wish. Uh, it's a sizable read if I recall correctly. I'll just load this one up, and you're going to see it is 19 pages. But nice thing is, there's lots of pictures and examples of how things work. So if you want to actually dig in about how this is done, uh, there is uh, thorough documentation on the mathematics behind it. And then one other aspect behind this one is PyTorch. And this is one of the libraries and one of the reasons why almost all of this machine learning stuff is being done in Python. The lib of choice is PyTorch. So if you really want to get into this machine learning, which is kind of a way of you kind of pre-train a data set by sending a super fast computer to figure things out. And then you can take the results of that and use it in other projects. A very, very, very simple way of explaining how this works. But the magic behind the scenes on this one is PyTorch. Another library that they made use of was Pillow. Uh, it's uh, imp, uh, the Python image library. So it's where the, the graphics and the drawing parts of things came from. Uh, so it's kind of like a programmable image magic kind of equivalent thing. So if you need to do some, uh, you know, image drawing functionality in Python, Pillow is the guy behind the scenes, but all the mach machine learning side of things, uh, that is from PyTorch if you want to look into that further. So anyways, that is anime to sketch. I have to say the results of it are really quite impressive. I don't know how you're going to use this, if at all. I just figured it was pretty cool and I'd share it with you. But if you do have an idea of how to best utilize something like this, uh, let me know. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.